Don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Okay. Oh no. Hello. Hello. If anyone is here. Is that natural? Does that sound natural? <laughs> the fan would be lovely. Oh, Lila. Why are you in the way? So. No. Nah, not in the dead of summer. Especially. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So Sid's going to be playing the first tree today. Do you know anything about this? Not at all. No, I know there's a fox, and that's it. I read a little bit from in the little insert, yeah. but I didn't retain any of the information. Yeah, I have no idea what this is about. Looks great. Looks really, really cool. It's so cute. Yeah. Let me find the remote, and I'll turn the volume up. That'd be swell. I get to play with my fancy purple controller. You lost it. That's possible. I don't think I'm sitting on it. Am I? Oh, whoops. I wasn't sitting on it, sitting on it. My knee was on it. Hey guys, hold on just a second. I'm about to get the chat pulled up and I will respond to you. Oh yeah, I can't see the chat. Just it's a be kind of small Are you awake? Here on our table. I thought I heard I you. I can't read out. that. Yeah, I'll just be in charge. <laughs> yeah. You can just be in charge. I'm awake. Sid's playing this game I just today. Can't I am sleep. Uh, I'm just Are in charge of the chat. About, about I can't him? hear. Yeah, a bit. You should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. Hey, Joe Crick. No, no, it's okay. I what love else Godzilla. Is on your mind? I don't know. Soul. It seems weird, Gloria. but I had one of the Ick most vivid dreams of my life. That girl Ooh. is my I saw wife, a fox Sid, on a snowy mountain, just and looking she's confused gonna be and worried. <laughs> those eyes—I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow. Can you hear that pretty good? Looking for yeah. something. Okay. Do you think it has to do with, with you and hey, what's Marie. been going on? I don't know. Game volume's kind of loud. It was just a okay. dream, Rachel. So. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. I like being an animal and right. jumping off of things. That's always so satisfying. Okay, so... Jumping, what else can I do? I love Godzilla. I love it. I streamed that Godzilla game on Twitch a while back. I can run. All right, I can run and I can jump. Is the game volume a little better now? Hey, Anis. This is really pretty. Oh, it looks like you can do a double jump? Wait, can you just do a double jump or do you only do that when you're... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't... I didn't know foxes could do that, but... Nice. Marisol says, hi, Mrs. Lair. Hello. Mrs. Yeah, I, I apologize if I don't. The lazy dog. Oh, typing class. Yeah, you're wrong. That was a hoot. Ida Marie is a rebel. So this is a game that's kind of like a journey. If anybody here's ever played Journey, it's kind of a narrative-driven. Um, man, it's so pretty. I love the way the sun's shining through those trees and stuff. A lot of people can't appreciate uh, kind of art styles that are um, oh. not hyper-realistic anymore. She couldn't stay, though. She had to find her other two children. So she took that path. She followed it 
towards something ancient. That's true. No one knows what the fox something says. Something with answers. Beautiful. It's so pretty. So did you hear what all the voiceover was about? Uh, this guy having a, a dream about a lady and, and stuff. Okay. Uh, I didn't catch all of it because we were in the middle of adjusting the volume Fox and stuff. Gotcha. Low, hey, Derek. Any How you doing, man? Cubs. Oh, Once she's looking for a cup. the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell. Can you move the own. camera or does it set it for you? The okay. land was trying to tell my story, too. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. The, Me too, Marisol. Me too. Essentially, this guy is dreaming about this fox that we're being. Yeah. She's searching for her cubs. Thought the fox babies were called kits, but I might be wrong about that. Kits? I, I thought. That does sound right. Hey, Captain Slow. Captain Slow, is your uh, name a reference to uh, Yay. May That's from so Top hot. Gear? James May. Oops, I ran into a tree. Well, I think I think that this game has um, kind of two stories that are running concurrently. I think there's the story about a fox, and then there's the story about a boy. And I think you kind of alternate back and forth between the two stories. I don't know. Well, you said that, and I stumbled upon this uh, playground stuff. Yeah, I see that. So. Yeah, it's an indie game. Um, so the animations are going to be indie quality. Very pretty, though. Mm-hmm. There funny. are a lot of really good animal games like this uh, in the indie game genre. There's a game called Shelter. Oh, I like Shelter. That's really fun. Sid played through those. Is the game audio still loud? I'm looking at it over on my monitor, and it kind of looks like it's still maybe a little loud. Bet y'all didn't know that foxes could fly. <laughs> Weird that you've got that double jump. You can dig somehow. One of your buttons. Uh, Square seems like a diggy button. Do you remember what my dad did? It's mm -hmm. not. Circle's the Was diggy button. Circle is the diggy Jack. button. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If wood was a canvas. And a carving it's a little knife toy. Was his Still kind of loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Even after working a 50 hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece okay. of lasting weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. I'm going to try to turn the subtitles on. If it'll let us. Let's see. Subtitles. Excuse me, I hiccuped into the mic. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Here you go. Uh, well, now uh, you have a black bar on the screen all the time. Oh, that's swell. Oh, that's oh great. is it going away? Oops, no. Nope, nope, it's not. <laughs> okay, well, it's up to y'all. Do you want subtitles on and the black bar or no subtitles and no black bar? Hey, AJ. How you doing? I got a little smaller for a second. Oh, oh. oh, it keeps getting smaller. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> that was surprising. You should go off the beaten path here. And there is no the path. path. So you're collecting star bits? More or less, yeah. Of some kind? nature medallions that's what all of these uh like nature games like this like shelter and um what was that game we played meadow meadow they're all games where you're just like collecting nature symbols Ooh. yeah i think subtitles will be good for us because then i can turn it down a little here and it won't be so loud for you guys
so pretty. Look at the grass moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. See, I love art styles like this. I love like hyper stylized, cell shaded. Um, you know, anything that's more colorful than drab and hyper realistic, I think is just more compelling. Better for storytelling most of the time. Look Thank at all the butterflies. Marisol. Hey, Aiden. How you doing? Yeah, look at them. Look at those shadows. That's pretty cool. Butterfly yeah. shadows. <clears throat> oh, hey, look. Another place to dig. What are you gonna find? My teenagers were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. I wasn't popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. Hmm. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Oh. Fireworks and mailboxes, hide roadkill and Yeah, I think those garages, subtitles are okay. Break windows of the barber shop in Anchorage. My dad was furious, but he was so busy working, he couldn't Look. do much to stop me from going out. What? A firework. A firework? I think being yeah. an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living and he couldn't be in two places at once. How you doing yeah, today, Derek? I that now. But at the time, oh, excuse me. I was sure I almost missed it. Oh, I'm falling. His business and what was going on with me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that I guess hyper realism has a place. Um, but for me, I usually prefer games that look something like this. What is that? I think it's a video camera, security camera. Yeah. I ran, in, I ran into that tree, but that tree is huge. I should have been able to miss that. <laughs> hey, Ras, good to see you, man. Hey. I would too, Anis. I, I think there are great games that kind of opt for that he was low poly like or cell shaded sort of look. Over, saying how bored they were and how they'd come. And indie the gaming has really opened it up a lot because they have to One get a little more creative. How that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage. Now we should take it for a spin. Like somebody was saying was earlier, uh, the animations kind of it for a while. are kind of choppy, but... The next thing I knew, we were careening around the mountain path. That's the beauty Rocks of indie gaming, is that you can kind of make up for that by making the overall aesthetic the really cool. The speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. I don't think it wants Felt me like to climb up this. You're doing air. it. You're Skyrim horsing your way up that hill. But all good things have endings. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's Yeah, that's true, too. It, it takes won't. a lot of what power to run a game night, like that. Talking to disappointed no, I don't think it wants you to go up there. Feeling smaller than ever. You're a mountain fox right now, though. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know if foxes can fall that far. We did just fine. I think, you know, that's where Nintendo ends up getting it right most of the time. Nintendo knows that they can make a great game that looks... I mean, take Breath of the Wild, for instance. You know, Breath of the Wild was beautiful, but it was stylized, and it definitely wasn't a realistic-looking game. Um, but just having that stylized art style wow. and taking some chances, you know, that people will get over it. I got more immersed in Breath of the Wild than I've gotten in a lot of games that look realistic exactly look at games like Wind Waker you know the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker back on the GameCube still looks great even if you play the original now it holds up fantastically at the time people were kind of annoyed because it wasn't the gritty direction that they wanted the series to take but it looks so good and holds up so well now <laughs> what are you doing to that rock? I don't know. I was sliding. That? Is that a, a nature piece you can It is. It jump is. Jump off of that rock? Mm-hmm. Hey, this Diana. is a different color. How you doing? Hello. I love the Wind Waker style. Look. Butterflies. What are they doing? What is that? Oh. You took their butterfly thing. <gasps> Look, there's a police car over there. Nice. 
Ooh. I still missed it. Oh, those butterflies were gonna like help you fly, it seemed like. Yeah, and I float. still missed it. We'll try that again. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot more to uh, gaming than just the way that it looks, or where in is? In some cases, even the way that it plays. You know, sometimes a game can be a lot more meaningful than the sum of its parts. How am I missing it? I think you're not getting close enough. I bet if you just jump and hold toward it, you'll you'll hit it. It just seems. Yeah, no problem, Derek. I've been doing all my streams on Twitch lately, so... Oh, jumped over it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing all my streams on Twitch lately, so I've been kind of neglecting to stream on YouTube for a while, but... I thought with this game, we might do it here and just see if anybody... How am I still missing it? You are gonna like, I get don't this. get it. I You're don't understand. There, there. Oh, ugh! How? Let me try. Okay, I'm gonna try. I am in control now. I love this fox. He's so pretty. Let's see, I want. She's so pretty. I think it's good. butterfly bits. Oh, foo! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all those years of Mario. I've been playing Mario for 25 years, Sid. Wind Waker was also on the Wii U, but it originally released on the GameCube. Yeah, that Uncanny Valley stuff. I mean, you get into games like... Ooh, yeah. Um, Detroit? Detroit was close to that. Det I mean, it's gotten so good, though, that Detroit was almost on the other end of the spectrum where it was so good that it actually made it across the uncanny valley. It wasn't like weird and lifeless, you know? You disagree? A little bit, yeah. I mean, it still was, but it's a lot better than things used to be. Oh, it wants me to have the... Oh, I think I was supposed to get the bit and then get the butterflies. That's cool, Derek. Yeah, I see some bits up there. No, I was supposed to come the other way at that bit. Oh. Oh. There you go. You can grab that other one and just jump off of there. And then I have to see. go back. Oh. Oh. You, I don't think you have to go back. I don't now. You're not supposed to go to that police car? I already went to the police car. Oh. You were busy doing something else. <laughs> Detroit was really, really good. We played through most of it here on the channel, and we still want to finish it one of these days. But <laughs> one it's of these just, days. you know, there just wasn't, we didn't have enough people that were interested in the series. And um, it was a big hassle in our old house to hook up our PS4 and record stuff. So. We ended up not doing a lot of PS4 stuff. So, Ooh, that's beautiful. I almost jumped right off there, too. Oh, those butterflies? I think you're supposed to. It's so pretty. What is that? A waterfall? Well, I mean, yeah, but go to it. I was enjoying looking at it. Well, you can enjoy swimming in it. Oh, that's awesome, Rass. We didn't, we, the furthest we made it was to the, um, the TV station to air the commercial. And then we stopped after that because we were in the middle of getting ready to move and it was hard to record. There's gotta be some way to get to that one, right? Yeah, I think so. I think you can just come around back. Aha. Uh -huh. I like games like this a lot. A journey was incredible. Excuse me for a second. Oh. Got some allergies here. Need to go blow my nose or something. Um, journey was fantastic though. 
And it was all, I mean, there was no dialogue, there was no real story, it was just an experience. I've been wanting to play that again. Maybe I could get Sid to play it, and that would be like experiencing it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Rass. I need to finish that. Oh yeah, Tina, here, I can post the link here in the chat, since Sid's in control of my controller right now. You don't really get to swim. Oh yeah, I see that. That's a shallow waterfall. Twitch.tv. Sorry, I'm typing on this tablet and it's kind of hard to type on. There you go. Yeah, I've been streaming on Twitch a lot lately, so if you use Twitch more than YouTube, you can follow me there. Um, what? I'll probably start using YouTube a little more, though, maybe to do some uh, Mario Maker 2 stuff. White note. Ooh, that scared me a little bit. I thought something was happening. Yeah, I, I was actually one of the first people to get to play Mega Man Maker when it released. I think I had the game a couple of days early, and I think... I think I was one of the first people in the public to get to play it. It was so much fun. Hey, Pennywise. Nope. You've got a hat like Detective Pikachu? That's awesome. What are those hats called? Don't look at me. Um, it's like a Sherlock Holmes hat. Let's After he drove me home from the police station, station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like him, how I was going to be someone and leave that hick icebox for good. He just looked forward at the road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette. I don't have Nightbot connected here, Rass. In my sage teenage wisdom. I nope. thought I approved the ultimate point, but my dad had a different idea. He slammed the brakes, slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel, and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was, make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. Deer stock? Maybe. I found it 30 minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went I'm back trying to, to keep truck, up with this story. Sorry, I'm being quiet. Back in. And sure enough, it worked. We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? It surprises me, too. It's like I didn't really know who that kid was back then. Thanks, Tina. I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself, more than to me. Um, let me see, what was I going to say? The hat is called a deer stalker. Thanks, Daniel. Good old D. Birch. Now I know who you are here, too. Nice. Um, favorite Mega Man game? Let me think. Um, I mean, if I'm honest, I think one of the Battle Network games on the Game Boy is probably my favorite. I really like Mega Man Legends a lot, which were the 3D ones. Uh, I've got Mega Man Legends 1 and 2 for PS1. Uh, my favorite 2D Mega Man is probably Mega Man 2. I think, I think Mega Man 2 is probably my favorite 2D one, but I haven't played all of them, so I don't know. I really like Mega Man X games, too. There's just so many in that series. Oh. So if you have three butterflies, you can jump super high. Is that what I'm guessing? Do you have three butterfly things collected? I do not. Oh, they go away after you jump. Okay. They do. I see. So you got to find them all. Without I know where jumping. all of them are. And I think I can get to all of them, except for one without jumping. And I'll start with that one.
Yeah, and if you ever get a chance, try uh, try the Mega Man Legends games. Not very many people have played them, and they're a lot of fun. They're kind of expensive now to buy the physical versions, though. Mega Man Legends 2, I think, is yeah. 50 bucks now or so. Yeah, Mega Man 2 has a great no, soundtrack. No! Oh, no! You! <sighs> he did a little foxy dive down into that waterfall. Oh, you changed the camera angle. Ah, oh, no. Can't, oh, you can't jump when you're I can't. Can you? <laughs> He's a real mountain fox. Uh, Mega Man Legends is on the PS1. Uh, there's also Mega Man 64, which is the first Mega Man Legends game on the N64. There you go. Okay, now you just can't jump. And you gotta collect the others. I don't know how to get on this rack. Maybe you can walk up it from the back. Oh. Maybe from there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Good job. <laughs> All right. You should be able to make that big jump now. My friends would laugh about that night and talk about how crazy it was. Yeah, it and seems like the fox can fall from any height and be okay. But it did. I imagined my friends growing old in the bush. Unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving, where all I would have to look forward to okay, are memories and evening Whoa. beers. Whoa! That was a big jump. Over. That oh, was I don't know if it's worth it. For a long time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. Good job foxing your way out of there. Uh, yeah, Derek, I mean, you can say whatever you want, man. I'm I'm here keeping up with the chat. Yeah, at least someone is, because I can't, <laughs> I can't see the chat. I, could take my love of drawing and turn it into a I love the of PS2. Escape. That's one of my favorite things. would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. I don't either, Joe Crack, you know? You're uh, absolutely right. Especially because the destination is all you can't buy the those games and actually give the money to awake? the developers or the publishers anymore. Journey? You know, and if why you can't... can't I stop thinking about my dad? So this is in his head? He's imagining all of this? Because he said, why <laughs> am I seeing this fox on a journey? Why, why yes. is he thinking about my dad? This is the this is the dream he keeps having. Gotcha. This is a dream. Speaking of dreams, I had a weird dream earlier this week. It's fighting off monsters and decided to bite one in my dream. And oh, yeah, Sid bit herself. I bit my own arm. Sid tried to tear <laughs> into her own arm. <laughs> like a ferocious animal. It was so startling. What was I saying before that? I don't something know. Something? I don't remember. The PS2 is a great system to collect for. I remember I was going to say that. But I don't think that's where I was going. That's awesome, Derek. Ape Escape 3. I don't think I have that yet. I need to get it. Um, I don't think the chat's too late for us, but there is a little bit of delay. That's just kind of how YouTube works. No, Sid literally bit her own arm. 
like yeah, just I'd, chomped down her. I arm had a bruise on my arm from where I bit down. Ennis, I think that um, I think the new Battlefront games are fantastic. You know, I just think that it's the kind of taint of EA with all the microtransactions and everything that ruin them. But the story in Battlefront Two is awesome. I can't tell what that is. A knife? Maybe? We were going Looks camping. like a knife. Yeah. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet. Hey, there's some... Or how those massive bits. mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd exactly, made my first carving Anna, when I was exactly. six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up. And we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much For I some reason I expected you to bounce. And how it would be a dream to study <laughs> Me too. architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it. But it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Well, see, Joe Craig, I think one of the great things about the new Battlefront games are the uh, the space fighting or the airborne combat. I think is awesome, and I just love stuff like that. I want a new Rogue Squadron game so bad, and uh, I had a ton of fun with that in the first one. I didn't play as much of it in the second one. I hope you get one, Derek. That would be awesome. Well, that's the complicated thing about microtransactions is that the only reason that these companies are doing this is because it works. And, you know, a company has one goal, and that is to appeal to its shareholders and make more money. And those two things are hand in hand because if you make more money, you get more shareholders. And if you get more shareholders, you're generally making more money. <laughs> and um, they've kind of tapped into this microtransactions thing because it works so well. Oh, you can dig that? What's it saying? If you get three sparkly things, then you can dig that. So do you have one sparkly thing right now? No, I don't. I have zero of three. What's that sparkly thing? I don't You're know. You're gonna go have to find some sparkly things somewhere. I don't know what to do with that sparkly thing. My biggest fear is that Nintendo someday will succumb to the microtransactions thing and they'll start putting them in every game they have. And I really hope that never happens, but. Fry? I don't think I've played that. I've played a lot of Elite Dangerous. That's a good space game. I've streamed that on Twitch a couple of times. Um, Everspace is another one that I've played a little bit of. Look at these purple trees. Mm -hmm. They're so purple. This is so pretty to look look at. It's almost mesmer mesmerizing. It's got it's you mesmerized. Yeah, I'm, I'm mesmerized. I'm mes hey, there's a sparkle thing way off in the distance. Below that, uh, turn your camera that there. See it? Ah. Hmm. 
No, that looks like a dig site. I don't know. Yeah, Rass, I think that that's, you know, that's fine with me. And Dr. Mario World, like, it gets a lot of crap for having a ton of microtransactions. And it does, but, I mean, it's just keeping up with the trend that other games have set. And you can play the versus mode without spending any money at all. And there's a lot of content yeah. there. This is just where I dig. On our property, but I'm okay with Nintendo putting microtransactions in their mobile games if it means we can get better, bigger, and better time, console who games. Who those people were that left all this junk. And I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real. Growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. Shnobo, the whole time we've been playing this, me. I've wanted to say, I can't let you do that, Star Fox, people with to my wife who's playing, sheds, but... Just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but, you know, I was a weird kid. We played... Well, you had good company years ago we played this like game called never alone here on the channel devoured. we've got a full playthrough of that game and it's kind of you play as a fox and an inuit kid oh i remember and that, that whole series i was making star fox quotes at my wife yeah that's the real fear ass that's the real fear I know I saw something over here, but I don't... Oh, that's what I saw. Dang it. I hope Nintendo never succumbs to that, but I wouldn't blame them. You know, I really wouldn't blame them, because they can make more money doing it. My hope is just that Nintendo is able to balance the core experience and those microtransactions as well as they possibly can. Crib? A minute. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the crib directly relates to anything in the story. I think it just relates to the junk on their property that people kept throwing out. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, Never Alone was fantastic. It was a really fun game. Dude, can you do some sick tricks on that skateboard? Oh, it doesn't have any wheels. That's too bad. Sick trick. That was pretty sick. Do an ollie. Dude, that was like an ollie. Good job. You're welcome. Online Mario Party 2 for mobile? I wish. Any kind of Mario Party. You know, Mario Party really could work well on phones. There are so many mini games you could do with your phone. Blueprints already come across. I'd be okay with a Mario Party for mobile, as long as it was just a pay once <laughs> instead of. Yeah, Mario Maker 2 would be really good for DLC. I mean, I. You know. I don't know. I want DLC. I don't want microtransactions personally. I don't want them to put anything in that's like, oh, here's a dollar for this, and a dollar for this, and a dollar for this. Just let me pay $30 and buy all of it, you know? Ooh. I think I see something sparkly. Hey, Beetlejuice. Just some sparkly yeah. bits. Dedicated servers would be great. That would be the number one thing that I want from Nintendo. But I think they just don't understand how this online stuff works yet. Even now, 2019, you know, I don't think they get it. But I think they're coming around. dog named Benny My dad built a lot Is of stuff. Your cat named 
if the he jets. wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, is it me? <laughs> he made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching. But I think he really missed working. And yeah, like a competition home. to see who can give if Nintendo more money. Time to build onto our own Whoever house, gives Nintendo more money is the winner or the loser, depending on how homes. you look at it. Hmm. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck. So we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. Are they even allowed to say coke in a game like this? He already did. Yeah, I agree, Joe Crack. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the idea of microtransactions, but DLC, you know, something extra added to the game for a little more money, I like the idea of. A computer! Use it. I don't know how. How was that? That was pretty good. I don't <laughs> think it's plugged in though, so. I'm a fox. What do I know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know, you know. Nintendo's still, I think what Nintendo has learned is for a long time, they were trying to be so cutting edge and so innovative. And I think now they've learned that the real innovation is a lot simpler than it used to be. You know, you don't have to create like this whole brand new way to play like the switch, you know, it's not a whole brand new way to play. It's just getting you to play as often as you possibly can. And that's what I love about it. We were happiest underneath the Hey, command a banana? Command a banana! We it was time to finally map out the hundreds <laughs> of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time I've heard of people doing that, Shinobo. And, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside, and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. I'm trespassing. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, what? though. I said I'm There's trespassing. With wanting to get Stop out, trespassing. Leave your childhood home. Yeah, I'm doing it. You wanted to progress. Trespass, trespass, trespass. Yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to. Yeah, I don't know, Joe Craig. Ask that question. I think of DLC like that, like a good expansion, as being a reward to players who have really stuck with it. Because some people just buy the game and move on, and then some people stick around long enough that... I don't know. I mean, there are some games that I want more content for, but expansions and DLC in general used to be a much different thing. You know, look back at um, games like Oblivion, Elder Scrolls 4, or Morrowind, back before that, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind had fantastic expansions that added tens of hours of gameplay and they were, you know, a decent price and it was like a whole new game added into the same game you've been playing for hundreds of hours already and it was worth it. But expansions are kind of a thing of the past. Now you get DLC and it's like Here's a new character you can play as, but he controls exactly the same, and it's just a palette swap, and there's no real difference, and it's five dollars. 
You know, I don't care that much about that. Yeah, Daggerfall before that. In general, I just don't like the idea of paying more money for a game to begin with, unless it's an expansion. And really, single-player expansions make the most sense to me. Instead of cutting your community into two halves, the half that has it and the half that doesn't. <laughs> That's true, There's ass. another one of those rocks. I wonder what it's saying you need for that. I don't understand. Oh. 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 What are you... Where am I? Where are you going right now? Hello. You're in a little foxy cave. Lost. You can turn your camera sensitivity up if you want, so it'll turn faster. Uh, Is that something you care about? I don't know. I can't look any higher, but I know oh, it's just pinpointing to that rock. I wonder what the deal is with those rocks. Hold on, look up at the sky here. Can you see a star up there? I can't go any higher. No, I guess not. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe Crack. Ah. Yeah, I love the portal games. I'm stuck again. Schnobo. I think Nintendo still creates great family-friendly experiences for the most part. I don't know where I where where am am where I am. <laughs> where am am? He's a fox. She's a fox. It's a is fox. That, is your canon that this is a she? Well, fox? he said that already. Oh. That it's a female fox looking for her cubs. Oh. Is this a new area, or is this the same big open area? It's the same big open area that I've been in. Gotta be something. Have you been over that big hill over there? I don't remember which direction I came from, to be quite honest. Well, that's okay. It's about the adventure. Ah. I whacked myself with the... Hello, Fabinobo. <gasps> it's a nature sketch Bonjour de la France. Nature sketch Whoa. What are you going to draw? I'm a fox. I can't. I thought you were saying you were going to draw I'm a fox on there and then just leave it. Have you been up there? I don't think so. I think I came from the other direction. So I think I'm going forward at this point. Yeah, there's a something up there. Some kind of beacon of light? Yeah, the beacons of light generally show you to a spot where you can dig. So this game, for everybody who's watching, is only about an hour and a half long. Um, oh, you have been here. I have been here. So it, it won't last very long. We're probably going to finish oh, it. Oh, I know where I am. Ish. Hey, Eric. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I've been doing all my streams on Twitch lately, so I haven't seen you all in a while. We've got some videos. We recorded some Mario Maker 2 stuff this afternoon. And I'll probably have one of those videos up mm -hmm. tomorrow or Tuesday.
Okay. I have what? Uh, Tina, no face cam, know. just because we're across the room from my camera setup. You wouldn't be able to see us very well. You wouldn't. You might be able to see me a little bit. I have, um, my game room is like 16 feet wide, and we're 12, 14 feet from the camera right now. Yeah, we're sitting on a on a couch being comfy. Yeah, that's cool, Shinobo. Yeah, this is a really pretty game. My wife Sid is actually playing right now. I bought her this game as a present here recently and we just hadn't gotten to play it until now. <laughs> nope, this is Lair. You are? I are. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. It gonna be what if some a zombie hand just busted right. up the ground right now. I was also thinking of little little ghosties. Oh, I can't tell what that writing says because it is squiggles. Yeah, the uh, we'll be doing some more streams on YouTube probably. I think I'm gonna do Mario Maker two streams on YouTube maybe once a week, and uh, I'll be using webcam and have everything all set up for those. What are those brambles of it? Wait, you got one of three. What? It just gave you one of. Th you have to hold the button down. I had been holding the button down. Do I need to go back? You might need to go back. Oh. All right. You better have some good topics. Uh, topics of conversation. I tried to mash those into one word. Because this is going to be a long ride. Patara fusion. Yeah, that's why. Yep. <laughs> Fishing pole. It's about, um, what, four meters away, I think. I think our webcam's about four meters from me. I'm bad enough with uh, English measurements. <laughs> um, the the measurements that I use in daily life that I I can't convert. <laughs> I have very bad spatial awareness. <laughs> yeah, I like Minecraft. It's a lot of fun. You know, I don't even mind that you're just wandering around hopelessly because the music and the ambiance. It's so relaxing. So, so nice. It's so relaxing to watch this. I don't even know if I'm going in the direct, the correct direction, the direct correction. Aren't there lights in the sky that show you where those rocks are? Yeah, but I'm far enough away from them. Okay, I am going in the yeah, right that was direction. The -sketch. Back. It's hard to see them once you get too far. Can you go through here? Oh, okay, that's the. Okay, I know where I'm going. Okay, Sid knows where she's going. Until I don't, so. <laughs> don't get your don't get your hopes too far up there. I actually, Minecraft is another game I streamed recently over on Twitch. Uh, oh, maybe I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. 
I gotta try me some Roblox sometime. Will you? Me and Darby are gonna have to do that. MLG. Major layer gaming. Okay, okay. That's There's, not. Is that one? No, I don't think so. You but sure? I don't know. I feel like that's the one that was in those, like, caves. I don't know. Like I said, I've got bad spatial awareness, so that also makes me have very bad uh, issues with direction in general. Yeah. Those things kind of go hand in hand, I feel like. Yeah, you're right. I haven't played Abzu. I need to try that. I don't know if I can get up that. I don't have to go around, I guess. Yeah. I'm very directionally challenged. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Now we can find out if you actually can <laughs> do something with these. Can't hold it. Hmm. Did anybody see what she did on the other one? I'm gonna look it up. Hmm. I'm stuck. Oh, nope. Oh, uh, I did it. How'd you do it? I don't know. I just like pounced on it, I think. You need to stand on the right, on the rock, and when the little point of light goes down, you need to click. Or you can just spam click your mouse, or I guess the circle button. Huh. Now I gotta figure out how to go back to the other other one, which was way far back. Yeah, well... And then you have to find your way back without the guiding light of the... <laughs> That's okay. We'll find our way back. We'll retrace our steps. Uh, I don't know, Beetlejuice. Maybe Tuesday, maybe next Tuesday, maybe... Tuesday ah, that's a that. wall. Ah! Yeah. There's still a light above it, so... Oh, nice. At least you have that. Yeah. At least. Snowbo says that we should play Humans Fall Flat. That is a game. That's a fun game. It is. We've played a lot of that. I've played all the way through it. Several times. I think. Yeah, you guys came here for the backtrack in action, right? Okay, where's your light? In the sky? It's so easy to not know where you're going. Yeah. Well, if I were paying more attention to what you were doing and less attention to the chat, then I would be able to help. But whoops, whoops, whoa. Now, wasn't your light in the sky that way? Yeah, but I... Right? In that direction somewhere? Well, I sure don't see it. Oh, that's awesome, Aiden. You should send it to me. Comment somewhere or um, tweet at me or send it on Discord or something. Uh, mods for what game? Humans Fall Flat? I haven't. 
guess I'll just won't go one direction until I find a light. Oh. That's the same one. Yeah, I wish we had some more Metroid and F Zero. We're getting a new Metroid I Prime think that's at least. The same one. Wait, that light in the sky over there? Isn't that the one that we just did? What? Does it show you the same one? I. <laughs> if you had listened. I'm paying attention to this. I'm sorry. Yes, but I was talking to you. What were you I talking? said that the light still shines. Oh. Well, then it's not that one. And that's the way that you went to get to the other one. Is it? I think so. See you later, Aiden. Just gone. Big old circle. Yeah, Derek, I've heard of that guy before. I bet Nintendo will make a new F-Zero game eventually. Yeah, this way. This feels right. Just a minute ago, you were telling me not this way. Well, dang it. Yeah, they're gonna have to F-Zero Battle Royale it. Hey, JV. Okay, I... Th Jose, I think? I think. I'm not sure, but I think this one over here is the one I just got. So I need to go over to this one. Not the, uh, not the one in the dark cave. I think this is the very first one I got. By the brambles? Yeah. Okay. Go to the other one, then. Now I can't see either. Okay, I can see that one. Yeah, this is the one by the brambles. So... Yeah, there was a great game called... Um, now I can't remember what it was called. Fast Racing RMX, I think. Fast RMX on the Switch. It was a really good game that was kind of F-Zero-y. Yeah, this is the way to the other one. Nice. Progress, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know where I am now. Sweet. Yeah, that's it, for sure. Yeah. Hope you're doing well today, Jose. Thanks for watching, man. Yeah. We normally do all the streams on Twitch, or have been lately, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to do some Mario Maker streams on YouTube soon. Ah, woo, Maybe woo. I'll keep most of my, like, variety stuff over on Twitch, and I'll do some Mario Maker stuff here. All right, I'm excited to see what comes next. Turok was pretty cool. I did it. Yeah, absolutely, e Joe Crack. That's the problem. If they would just take that gameplay, though. I mean, I love the gameplay enough that if they could just slap on some F-Zero. What now? Hold on. Well, Sid, you're going to have to entertain the people because I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. So, have fun. Okay. But I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, Sid's going to entertain you guys, so feel free to chat and ask her questions and stuff. Oh, no, I can't multitask. I'll be back soon. Just hold on. We're just going to have to endure this together, guys. You got it. Oh. You got it. You got it. I can't read the chat. You didn't hand it enough to me. Okay.
Alrighty then. I don't know if this is the same light that's at the brambles or not. I guess we'll find out. The forest is so foresty. Oh, you're right. Just keep going straight. Oh. We got this. Ooh. I don't know if I want to reach the end of the world per se, but Oh, yeah. Going straight was the best decision. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Look at us. Doing this all by ourselves without without the lair. Oh, I turned around somehow. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not sure how I managed that. But I, I ended up going in a circle. So much for going straight. But I think we've, I think we've straightened back out. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything in that direction. <laughs> Fifty percent of the time, it works all the time. I'm pretty sure I'm going backwards now. I've been here. Going straight didn't work this time. Also, I don't think I actually went straight, so that might be part of the problem. Yeah, it's, uh, it's this dude's dream that this, uh, fox is looking for her, uh, her cubs. And that is pretty, pretty unusual. Yeah, I am running in circles, and I don't think there's any way for me to stop at this point. Try to take a little look-see here. I know I've already been over there, but I'll go over there again. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, hey. I the Oh my goodness. The brambles fell down. That's what happened. I think we got our rocks out of order. I think that this was supposed to be the last rock that we got. Whoops. Well, look at that. Look at us. Good job us. <gasps> Traders was that unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. 
He can never hold a grandchild that well, this will probably is sad. never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything. Oh boy. This is, this is very sad. No, you stop that. I don't know if I can get back up there to get that other... I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. He's back! Hey guys. Oh, got it. Oh, oh no. I'm way too cautious about this kind of stuff. Yeah. Like you, you just go for it. Yeah. And that's how you end up getting it. I don't think it matters if you miss any of these really, but. Um, it, in the gameplay in general, no, it doesn't. But I, uh, I read in the thing that if you get all of them, there's like a special ending. Love special endings. Uh oh, is this getting real? It, yeah, it's getting real sad. Dang it. Um, his dad died, but I don't know if I missed how or or what. More or less, he was he was killed. Hmm. And then the fox ran into a wolf. At the same time that the guy was saying that his dad had died. Uh, Mysterious Plumber, I think Sid just described most of what it is, but it's this guy telling these stories from his childhood, and he's talking about this dream that he keeps having with a fox, and we're playing as that fox right now. Oh, so what the three rocks did was they brought the the bramble wall down. Yeah, I saw that. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's probably what's happening to Rass. I think he's real sad now. Yeah. It was always going to end this way. Yeah, most of these uh, indie games are kind of like that. Like, they have, like, a really sad turn somewhere. Well, I think it's easier to get on the, the radar if you make a game that's emotionally stirring like that. Yeah. Know? Okay, I can see the difference now between one of those obsidian rocks and a dig site now. Yeah. I couldn't see it before because they weren't, uh, I guess, close or I hadn't seen both before yet. So. Ah. But the the dig sites are a shorter beam mm. of light. The right. obsidian rocks are, like, all the way up to the sky. Exactly, Rass. That's a good way of putting it. I need to go to bed. I knew what a tanuki was, Mysterious Plumber. There was somebody who wanted us to say that for some reason. Oh. Letters. Letters. Yeah. Grave of the Fireflies. Oof. 
That was a good movie, but it was sad. Yeah, I've never seen that one. It'll make you cry. We saw the new Lion King. Oh. <laughs> I've heard so many bad things about I it, have though. Too. I thought it was great. I thought it was fantastic. Then again, we're not really that picky. I feel like I people. I am. I'm well, not. I'm not. I don't think I'm that picky. I think I usually like movies that everybody is just kind of me, you know, neutral about. Well, you're in the spirit plane now. Congrats. I don't think I'm going to find my... Congrats, Mr. Fox or Mrs. Fox. I don't think I'm going to find my cubs here. Jason, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Huh? <gasps> Is that a deer? Or one of my cubs? That's pretty big to be a cub. It is a deer. You were right. You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself this is real sad. I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I think we both have always loved Has anyone ever played... Uh, and for me, that love started with a dog. To the moon? Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me. But only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school. And it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she Aww. did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way. Except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and... I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami mm. birds and carried dog biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kid. You watch Let's Plays of To the Moon? In college was I love that game. I think it's I fantastic. So Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. The wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly. And that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph, and you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless, just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself, how could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry, I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into Whoa. years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road, together. Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning, 
where okay, any hopeful well. road leads to. There may be thorns and mist, but it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? Oh, okay, Anna. Family. I'm so glad that you're part of my family, Rachel. And I'm glad you're part of mine. Yeah, that's a good point, Rass. I just like games like this that are kind of artsy. I think that's one of the beauties of indie gaming is that we've gotten stuff like this that's... <laughs> they won't let me ride him. Dang it. Come here, child. Hey, Angry Birds Beast. What up? Never mind. Maybe you can ride that one. He's doing the ear thing at you. Ugh. Well. Oh, oh, he's ready. Jump on him. You did it. You're riding him. <laughs> you did it. Yes. This. This is what the people came for. <laughs> this is why we played this game to start with. Finally, you did it. <sighs> I always knew you could. I always knew. Mission accomplished. So beautiful. Don't make that yawn face at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just so soothing and relaxing. I gotta go get some more lime Topo Chico after this. Oh, yeah. I gotta get me a regular Topo Chico so I can see if I like that. That counted as writing it. I'm counting it. That totally counted. Totally. I mean, she didn't go anywhere, but... I wonder how many of those light bits are in this game. I don't remember if the thing said or not. Sorry. I'm just, okay. like... Punching you with my foot. I know that normally that would probably be called kicking, so don't make that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm punching you with my foot. But I'm actually, like, I curled my toes in and made a fist with my foot and I was punching you. I think you really are. I can only describe that as being punched by a foot. <laughs> Tetris 99 was awesome. Ooh. I haven't played that in a while. Ooh. Floaty rocks. Floaty rocks. Wait, are they floating? I don't think so. They're just illuminated. Ooh, uh, that was a much bigger jump than I meant. We've got another game we're going to be playing before too long. Uh, maybe making some videos about it. A game called 428 Shibuya Scramble. Really excited about that one. We are? Yep. We sure are. You'll have to enlighten me after this. It's also kind of an experience like this. There's a bunch of characters. It takes place in a Japanese... Um subway or something it's that one of the characters is a guy in a cat suit I think oh boy something like that I don't know it's weird but we're definitely gonna is play. it like it's like a visual novel where you choose your own story like you choose what all the characters say to each other kind of like Nippon racing like yeah like Nippon marathon marathon that's what that it was. game Dave tried to get us to play made made me buy the first tree she was almost there. The rain Who'd win in a fight? One Godzilla-sized Mike Tyson or 100 was. Mike Tyson-sized Godzillas? Life was protected there because that's where life began. I think it was now only 100 Mike Tyson-sized Godzillas. Oh, jeez. If the they still have atomic oh breath, I mean. Destination and destiny. I don't know how to get back up there. Maybe you're not supposed to get back up there. There were bits up there. Oh, well, maybe you can't get them now. 
You're oh, wow. ex this emotion you're feeling right now is exactly the emotion the game wants you to feel right now. <laughs> that, like, sadness, and you dropped off the hill, and you didn't get your bits, and now you can't get back up to get them, and they're just gone, they're behind you now. That's exactly how the game's trying to make you feel. I don't like it. I don't want to feel this way. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a fun one if we get around to doing it. We'll oh, either oh, oh. I think we'll make videos about that one. We'll just have to see. There you go. You're getting good at grabbing those now. You gonna try to go back again? Oh, oh, I am supposed to go up there. It just wanted me to go this direction. Yeah, you're right, mysterious plumber. Oh, my nose itches. That was scary. It was like uh, a crisis. It so felt like it was going to be a crisis. Big spot. At the end of high school, I felt something I hadn't felt in a long time. Drive. I looked into the best architecture schools on the West Coast and got a dose of reality when what? looking at other students' portfolios and the high cost of tuition. I still wanted to be something, to be the next Alvaro Siza, and to make oh, those no. thousands of sketches that doesn't lead up there. in my grant history. But now even an internship sounds impossible. Siza helped me understand how essential emotion is in architecture. And he also said that light is the real composer of space. Uh -huh. I like to think these glints of light, like not finding a job or even a strange I want to play Mario Fox, 3D World again. Be Maybe Sid and I can play through that. Even if the illuminated That would be a cool game to play something through. I'm less than comfortable with. Make videos about? No, no, no. Oh jeez. I don't think I made any progress. I did not. I made zero progress. Daggummit. Ugh, I guess I will have to leave those behind. I'm sorry. I wish it didn't have to be this way. I still think you're doing great, for what it's worth. Don't make that face at me. How about this face? That one's better. So glad you approved. There's a house. That there is. Excuse me, really? Hold on. I will get Darby on the horn right now to play that if that's true. Excuse me? We'll get Darby on the horn. I don't understand. <laughs> These flowers are beautiful. Let me see, I'm looking it up to see what you're talking about. Oh, you're saying new Super Mario Bros. 2. I knew that. I thought you were saying there's a new Super Mario Bros. 2 ROM hack, but you're saying there's a new Super Mario Bros. 2 ROM hack. Is that right? What? I did not understand a word of what you just said. Plans. To a point. Things were okay until this terrible accident happened. I guess a forklift flipped over due to a bad axle, and it crushed one of the workers there. My dad didn't eat for days. Even though he wasn't directly involved, it devastated him. Not only did it hurt the business, but it just freaked him out. He would talk in his sleep muttering things about firing people and saying I sorry. I thought his dad was One fateful dead. day he approached me. His dad is dead now, but he's talking Since my school talking search wasn't going well, past. I should okay. finally be a man and take over the family business. He said one day he was going to die and that all of his work, sacrifice, and even that man's life would be wasted in vain. I just lost it. Teenage me just exploded at the thought. I screwed up. I said things I shouldn't have. He was having a crisis, and I pretty much spit in his face. 
And you are really defying the laws of gravity here, Mr. Fox. Mrs. Fox. Oh, there is a regular Super Mario Bros. 2 then. It won't let me up there. Oh. You have a link to that? I'm I'm looking to find it, but <sighs> I'm not supposed to be up here, <laughs> but I'm going to make it work. You're trying your hardest. I will get Darby on the horn. Fine, I won't be up here. Doing a Q and A. Oh. I would love to do a Q and A, but I don't really think there's enough demand for that. I mean, if any of y'all have questions, you can ask them, and I'll answer them. Oh. That house doesn't look so good. I don't think houses are Whee! supposed to be at a 45 degree angle like that one is. Oh, I'm supposed to be at this house because there are little star bits in front of it. Star bits? Dude, I don't want to think about elephant sized spiders. No. can't go in where you are just a fox <laughs> no but I can stand on top of the house for I am a fox <laughs> where to next though I don't know you went to that sawmill up there? I did. That's where I could not get any closer because I wasn't supposed to be up there. And you acted like you were paying attention. I was paying attention. Hmm. I saw when you were up there. I just didn't see when you couldn't get closer to it. Well, that was the part when you acted like you were paying attention. Whoops. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I have caught you. <laughs> Sir. I don't know that I'm I don't expect that you're supposed to go up any of these hills like this. Eh. I just feel like the path forward is probably not up a hill like that. That way, maybe. Because that's kind of flat and it's got green. Except I can't go that way. Then maybe you're not supposed to go this way. <laughs> I'm doing real good here. <laughs> Okay, so you missed something somewhere. You haven't been to the other side of this valley. I'm a rule breaker. You really are. Quite the rebel. I don't like when I when they give you tunnel vision. Hey, Nathan, how you doing, man? Oh. There's some purple trees. And there are some pink, purple trees over there. Some pink trees. That could be good. I don't know if that's really considered a tree, I guess. More of a bush. Shrub, maybe. Can you sing something? No, I cannot. A can or won't? Both. If I were gonna sing something, what would you suggest? This is how this is how far I'll go. I'll ask Sid, if I were to sing something, what would I what should I sing? I'm not going to sing it, but what should I if I were going to? Well, we were singing Phantom of the Opera earlier. But not yeah, the like song Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. We were singing the Angel of Music. Angel of Music! That's what the name of that one is. That's what it was. We Dude, were... I wish I had a popsicle. We have popsicles. <gasps> you could go downstairs and get us each a popsicle. We're you... almost done. Let's finish and then I'll get popsicles. 
But then I'll have to go downstairs too. Oop, dig. See you later, plumber. Can you draw? Thanks for hanging mm, out. Not particularly, no. I can't either. Not particularly. I can paint. I'm not extremely artistic. Um, My I can sister play a lot is. of instruments. My sister is pretty fantastic. Was that the last time you talked to him? Hey, Demi Wolf. How no, you doing? I called on holidays, and he would call on my birthday. I yeah, guess sorry the stream delay like is nothing ever happened. Kind of big. Which was stupid. Didn't want to ask about his lumber yard, and I'm sure he didn't want to ask about my job search. I never went back and visited. I think the last conversation we had was about what movies we had seen and what exactly a best boy. I don't know why that is. I thought he would be here so much longer. Pineapple popsicle sounds so good. Ooh. We have orange and grape and strawberry, I think. I think all we have is strawberry and an orange left. I think we ate all the grape. That's okay. There might be one grape left. But I emptied them all out into one big pile, so... Oh, I bet there's a hundred bits. And you missed those. Oh, Are hush. I don't know. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a reflection. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I, uh, I don't sing for anyone. I sing to myself very loudly when I'm in the... <gasps> <gasps> No! Oh, no! 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 In the distance, the first tree illuminated the wasteland. She couldn't go home anymore. She did the only thing she was capable of. <sighs> Moving forward. No! My dad died alone in the middle of the wilderness. <sighs> I should have been talking to him more. I should have done a lot of things differently. If the first tree on earth brought life with it, if it taught the birds to sing and fly and showed saplings how to grow, what could it do for us? That poor fox. Well, that's pretty sad. Now you're walking toward this big tree. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the that's the first tree. Poor sad fox walk. You're not allowed to pick out games for me anymore. I'm sorry. With a quote I can't stop thinking about. Death is not the opposite of life. It's the circle of life. More and more, I'm realizing one important truth. Each of us have our own journey to the first tree. But sometimes I'm not sure I'm ready to take that first step. You already have my love. My favorite. I think you're probably supposed to go up the roots. Oh, she's so sad.
Has anybody ever played uh, That Dragon Cancer or ever seen it? I loved that. That was, uh, I mean, it's all just a narrative, but it's a strangely optimistic take on a little boy who has cancer. And it's a fantastic story about a family coping with it and trying to figure out how to manage. Okay, I could have been wrong. Maybe this isn't where you're supposed to go. Nope, it was. First tree awakens and gently asks if there is one last message the fox wants to tell her children. She replies back and says... What? Do you want to type something or you want me to? You type something. Okay. I'm going to type something. What do we type? I don't know. Chat, what do we type? Should we type I don't know? No. Wants to tell her children something. I mean, should we go with the obvious? Oh, the number of the bits you get is how long your message can be. Oh. Um, I mean, I'm going to put I love you, and that's going to be it. I think everybody probably puts that. This is so sad. I'm not going to do it. That would have been a great bit. And if I was playing by myself, maybe that's what I would have typed. What? Sub to Lair Candy. I guess her journey was over. But I have no idea. It was only a dream. A distraction from tomorrow. I don't think dreams normally bring back to memory so many important feelings. Maybe it was just a dream, but it was also a gift. Yeah, I suppose. But tomorrow we're getting on a plane to the last place on Earth I want to be. The only person that would have made the trip worth it is gone. You're going to see him and be with him one last time before you say goodbye. I have one last quote for you by Emerson. Sealed in an imaginary letter from me to you. It is the secret of the world that all things subsist and do not die but only retire a little from sight and afterward return again. Go to sleep, my love. We have a big day tomorrow, but I'll be there with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Yes, good night, night Rachel. <sighs> good night, Joseph. Too sad. I'm sorry. It was a cute game with a fox in it. You love games like that. I do normally. <laughs> now I really need a popsicle. Six oh no. Later. Oh no, there's more! <sighs> no! It's the real world. What is her hand doing? Does oh. she have giant feet? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? I don't think they're giant. I'm just comparing them to like the size of her elbow. I don't have any feet. Reason. That's true, you're just an apparition. Mm 
Blue Toad, my man. Love Blue Toad. No, his dad had just died. And because his dad had died, he was having this dream over and over again. He didn't know what it was about. Can I turn the light on? She's asleep. You don't want to wake her up. I bet you're just supposed to go outside. I would love to do that. Well, you got your handy dandy glasses on now. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? What? Nothing. I thought you were wearing glasses for some reason because there are these lines on the screen. Yeah. There's no way outside except through Isn't that. Is there a door? There is, but I can't figure out how to open it. Circle? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Can I talk on the phone? Can I go out this way? Yeah, I think whichever way gets you outside. Well, I'd bypass right. the front door to go. I wonder if this is his dad's house. Could be, yeah. Bricks. Bricks are for kids. Can't go that way. <laughs> Is there a baby oh, in that crib? Oh, no. Did the fox take the baby? Because <laughs> he left the window open? Fox lost its baby. You had a baby. It came. It took your baby. Don't make this more sad than it already is. I'm just trying to they're get moving. one step ahead of it. I can't tell if they're moving in or out, though. You're definitely going to run into that fox out here. Is that the house that was sunk down? Yeah. It's got the green roof and everything. I would love a Courage the Cowardly Dog game. Dude, he's like sprinting down this hill. Can you sit in the chair? Nope. Not supposed to go that way. I think that's the end of the line there. I think you need to go do something where the fireflies and the chairs are. Circle? You hidden circle? Now I am. Good lord. It scared the crap out of me. It is. It's the fox. Forrest is snoring. He does that. He's an old, old boy, bud. Okay? He's an old <laughs> bud. Old boy. What's happening? Are you know. broken? Am I having a, a fit? I don't know of anyone that would just chase down a fox like this. 
Yeah. I think this is all a dream or something. Or... I don't know. Maybe he's having a hallucination. Yeah, a little bit, Angry Birds. I like how those trees are coming up. What are we supposed to do if we catch her? There's some butterflies. Hey, Gabe. I thought maybe it would s she would stop if I stopped, so that's why I got behind. Oh. She did not stop. Because I wanted to take some of it in a little bit. This dude's going to be exhausted. Seriously, he's going to have a heat stroke. I guess he's in Alaska. Yeah, I was going to say. He's going to have... He's going to be mosquito-ridden gonna... is what he's going to be. Yeah. Mosquitoes in Alaska apparently are much more vicious. Yeah, giant. Yeah, that's what Miss... Uh, uh, oh. Oh, now you're panting. What is this? Which teacher was it that lived in Alaska for a little while? Teacher? Yeah, we had a teacher. Well, not our teacher. Second grade teacher. At the school. Enjoy your time in the stars. That's not what we wrote. Got her baby's back. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be the same tree. Metaphorically. What am I doing? Was I just picked up by a giant bird of prey? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be fed to some baby pterodactyls. it. Well, good job. You did it. You yeah. Happy? Yes. That could be something another player wrote. That makes sense. Yeah, that could that could make sense. See you later, Snowbo. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you all for hanging out. This was a lot yeah. of fun. It was a lot of fun until it was sad. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was also pretty sad, but you know, it was enlightening. It was good. It was beautiful to look at. It was, it was. Well, thank you guys. Hope you have a great day. I'm going to let the credits play out here for a second. And then uh, I'll end the stream. But appreciate y'all stopping by. Hope you had a good time. Look for the videos from me and Sid uh, the rest of this week. Would you like to anonymously submit your statement to the first tree to an online moderated database? It may appear randomly to other players. Hmm. 
Neat. But yeah, we'll have some more. Uh, we'll have some more videos coming this week. Much and peppier videos. Yeah, peppier stuff. But appreciate y'all hanging out. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.